Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to remove Authenticator from Microsoft account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to access our browser and go to Microsoft.com. Now from here at the top right of your screen, just click on the profile icon and basically log in. Now, once you've logged in, you should see your name here, like on my screen. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, choose the option that says my Microsoft account. And basically another tab should now open. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to access a few settings on our account. Now, currently we are in the your information section. Let's go ahead and switch over to security. So at the top section here, next to the privacy and payment and billing, go ahead and click on security. Now, if this is the first time you're accessing your security, you might need to basically re-log in into your account or basically confirm that you are currently logged in through the Authenticator app. But in this case, once you've done that, you'll be redirected to this page here. And from here, click on the Advanced Security Options. Now, under Advanced Security Options, you should see the following information. So currently, we have Enter Password, Email Code, and Signed Sign-In Notification. Now in this case, since you want to remove your authenticator, click on the send sign in notification and from here you should be able to see your authenticator. Now from here, just click on remove and from here it's going to say remove Microsoft Authenticator app. Go ahead and click on remove here and from here it's going to basically remove the authenticator as you can see on my screen and that says the Microsoft Authenticator app has been removed. Just click on OK and you should be good. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.